Hello all, welcome to part 6 of Cucumber Hybrid Framework series. In this session, I am going to show you how to integrate data-driven scenarios into this framework. So once you integrate the data-driven scenarios into this uh, framework, this framework will become a Cucumber Hybrid Framework. Okay, so hybrid means normal framework plus data-driven or any other framework. Okay, hybrid means it's a combination of different frameworks. So once you integrate the data driven scenarios, okay, into the framework, this framework will convert into a hybrid framework. Case, okay, from a normal framework, this Cucumber normal framework to Cucumber hybrid framework, it will become. Okay, so let's start integrating this data driven scenarios into this framework so that it becomes a Cucumber hybrid framework. For that, I'll quickly switch to the Eclipse ID. Guys, this is the part six of uh, part six of this uh, Cucumber hybrid framework series. We are integrating the data driven scenarios into the framework to make it a hybrid framework. So in this Eclipse IDE, if you see this, uh, one of the scenarios I'll pick guys, I'll pick the first scenario in the login. In the login.feature file, I'll pick this uh, first scenario. I'll make this scenario a data driven test. That means data driven means this scenario will be written only once, but will be executed multiple times depending on the number of data sets we are passing to this particular scenario. Okay. So here we don't have to create an Excel file and read the data from the Excel file for data driven testing and all that is not required at all in this uh, Cucumber projects. Okay. From the feature file itself, from the feature file itself, we can pass multiple sets of data to this scenario. How to do that? Okay. We don't need a uh, API and all those stuff in this framework guys. Okay. It's very simple in Cucumber projects where passing the data, multiple sets of data is very simple guys. So from the feature file itself, we are going to pass a multiple sets of data and scenario will be written only once, but it will be executed the number of times, the multiple sets of data that we have provided in this particular scenario. So to convert this normal scenario in this uh, login.feature file into data driven scenario, we have to rename this keyword from scenario to scenario outline is one thing. Okay. And at the bottom, you have to say examples, examples colon. These two keywords we have to add additionally, guys. Okay, replace scenario with scenario outline, and at the end, you have to write examples. And here, write give two pipe symbols like this. And here, write down username. Here, write down password. And now pass the data from here. Okay, username. What is the username? Username, I'll give that username as uh, let's say a photo e cap one at the rate gmail.com. This is the username. I'll give, I'll just uh, organize this stuff. A better way here i'll give pipe symbol password is one two three four five guys password valid password valid username i'm giving so multiple sets of data i'm giving guys here also i'll give pipe symbol so this is the first set of data that i want to pass to this particular scenario second set of data is a motori cap to either at gmail.com here i'll give one two three four five third set of data a motori Cap three, all these are valid credentials, guys. If you manually go and check with this, all these three credentials, the application will work. Okay, it will allow you to log in. Okay, now this username I want to receive in this particular scenario. Okay, I want to parameterize this particular scenario so that the same scenario will be executed multiple times depending on the number of sets of data we are passing. Here, three sets of data we are passing. The same scenario need to run three times. So, okay. So here, instead of writing double quotes and all, I'll write something like this. I'll just give create less than and greater than symbol, and I'll pass uh, username here. Okay, username. Here, I'll pass the password, guys. Okay, I'll pass the password like this. You have this. This one should match with this one. This one should match with this one. Okay, the data from this username will go into this username, and uh, data from the password will go into this password. Okay, now. Let's go into the, you see, these steps are not implemented, it is saying, because we have done some changes to the steps, right? So how to do that? How to overcome this problem? So for that, we have to go to the login.java. Here we are receiving the, I'll remove this string guys, valid email into the email field, I'll remove, and valid password here, I'll remove this uh, string. Click on save all, and uh, okay, this is also gone now, okay? Because of this, this is also gone now. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll just uh, go back, control Z, control Z, I'll write. So for this particular steps, okay, I'll do one thing. Again, I'll click on save all. 
Yeah. Only these two steps are not implemented it. I have to run this scenario, guys. Okay, how to run this rightly run as a Humber feature, I'll say. Let's see what is coming in the output. We'll see. Is it running so? Or we can use some tidy getting kind of plugins to generate, okay? Uh, it's not implemented, right? Some steps are not implemented. Okay. Okay, let's wait for these scenarios to run. Looks like it is running three times, but... Uh, Let's wait for the login scenarios to run. Okay, completed. You see, the steps which are not implemented, you see undefined steps are there. With the steps which are not implemented, it's coming, okay? They're coming here. User enters a valid email address. Okay, three methods are coming, you see. This is a problem. This is a problem. So how to overcome this problem? So for that, I'll just copy these two lines. And uh, here we'll, I will type tidy gherkin, tidy gherkin, and we'll get this link. If this extension is not installed, you have to install guys. Okay, in my case, it's already installed. I'm getting launch app. In place of this launch app, you generally get uh, install, okay, extension. After installing, we'll get launch app, okay? Just click on the launch app, the app will be launched. Paste it here. Go to Java steps and see, you see it's, we have to give like this, okay? We have to give like this, guys, okay? The, this is a, we are using here regular expressions, okay? Starts with, ends with, and here we are taking this part. Go to login.java. Here, give circular brackets dot plus and here starts with, you just say starts with cap symbol and ends with dollar symbol. Okay, don't modify this. Don't modify this. Okay. Keep it like this. Because other two steps are dependent on this, right? So better not to modify that. Only for this, we'll do one thing. Uh, I'll copy these two steps. And paste it here. Or we'll modify and see what's happening also. That's also fine. The instead of string, I'll just convert it into dot plus. Okay, dot plus. And uh, starts with, ends with. Here also, in place of this one, provide circular bracket. Say dot plus. Here starts with and ends with. That's it. Click on save all and see whether all the steps got implemented or not. No, user enters. Okay, user enters valid password into the password field. Okay. Why it's not implementing? User enters valid password into password field. Okay, some symbol came here. Guys. That's the reason. Click on save all. Now it should be fine, I guess. You see all the steps got implemented. You don't have to duplicate them. Same same steps in, instead of uh, here, just instead of string, you just give this dot plus. Instead of uh, string, you just give dot plus. That's enough, okay? So guys, that's all. Okay, as part of the modification, that is enough for data-driven thing. Now this should work. This part should work, guys, okay? How? Go to the runner class, run all the tests and uh, login. This scenario should run three times because we are passing three sets of data. Okay. Now this framework becomes a Cucumber hybrid framework because it has data-driven scenarios also included. So it's nothing but a data-driven framework plus normal page object model page factory implemented framework. Go together it will become a hybrid framework. Okay. Go to the runner class, run this runner.java. Okay. Using JUnit. It's very simple scenario guys. Okay, converting a normal scenario into a data-driven scenario to convert this uh, normal framework into a Cucumber hybrid framework. You see the login cap one credentials is got executed. Again, the same scenario is running for the second time. The first scenario is running second time with the second credentials. 
The first scenario is running third time with the third set of credentials. A motoric at three at the red gmail.com. You see, now second scenario is running with invalid credentials. Now third scenario is running with the valid email and invalid credentials, invalid password. The fourth scenario, valid email and invalid password, I guess. Invalid email and valid password. Last one without credentials, trying to log in. Done. Five scenarios completed. Now, register account feature five scenarios are running. Four, four scenarios will run. First scenario is done. Now, second scenario is running. Now, third scenario, duplicate uh, account, trying to create duplicate account is running. Now, fourth scenario is running. All the four scenarios in the register account functionality has run. Now, search functionality scenarios, three scenarios are there, they will run one by one. First, valid product. Second scenario, invalid product. And third scenario, without any product. Done. We can we got the report also, guys. We got the report here. Okay, we can see the report. If you want to check the report, you can check. Just press enter. Copy paste the report and press enter. Fail to fetch. Maybe some you see some symbols are coming at the end, guys. Okay, if this kind of symbols are coming at the end, you have to remove that and press enter. Okay. Now we are getting the report. Now it's fetching the report properly. Hundred percent passed. Fourteen out of fourteen got passed. But the first scenario got executed how many times? Three times, you see? First time, second time, third time. With three sets of data, okay? And remaining all scenarios, one, one, one time, okay? And second uh, feature file, four scenarios got executed. And third feature file, three scenarios got executed. So hope okay, guys, so you understood how to integrate uh, data-driven scenarios, okay? Here, for, for sample, I took only one scenario. If you have more scenarios that you want to convert them into data-driven, you can do that, guys. But uh, in this session, I only took one scenario and converted that into data-driven scenario. And finally, the framework got converted into a data uh, cucumber hybrid framework because of that reason. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.